New Nokia. Got my new Nokia cell phone here. Hello. Yes, Zach Morris, here I am. It's pretty big. What do you think? Oh my goodness, that looks like the Dynatec 8000X. Good thing you're saved by the bell. All right. Sirs and madams, meet Kaka here. And on today's episode of I Like Big Boats and I Cannot Lie, our two little sea captains, Third Tapper and Hobie Trippin, take you on a tour of the Queen Elizabeth's Royal Yacht, Britannia. So make sure to stay clam before the storm. Run faster than Usain Bolt and don't become a nervous wreck as we get marooned on another adventure. Good morning here from Edinburgh, Scotland. That's my uh, fake Scotland, some type of voice here. Uh, we are here uh, in a parking garage, but we're going to be going to Queen Elizabeth's yacht. So this is where the Queen partied with all the fancy people. That's nice. Yeah. Chalo. All right, we'll see you on the boat. Choo choo. Good morning and welcome to the Royal Yacht Britannia, Her Majesty's former floating palace. Today, we embark on a journey through British royal history. As we step aboard, imagine the countless dignitaries and royal family members who have graced this deck. Please watch your step and follow me into the heart of Britannia. Here on the bridge, the captain navigated the seas, steering Britannia on over a million nautical miles of voyages. Take a moment to enjoy the view and feel the captain's pride. enter the state apartments where kings, queens, and presidents were entertained. Notice the elegant furnishings, each piece telling a story of luxury and protocol. This is where the royal family found rest. The queen's bedroom, with its simple decor, reflects her personal taste and the yacht's purpose as a home away from home. Below decks, the crew's quarter and working areas show the less glamorous but vital side of life at sea. Britannia was not just a royal residence, but also a working naval ship.
The engine room, the powerhouse of Britannia, is a testament to the engineering marvels of her time. The gleaming machinery was maintained with utmost care, ensuring smooth sailing. The Sun Lounge was the royal family's informal living room, offering spectacular sea views. It's easy to imagine the world's relaxing here, isn't it? We conclude our tour at the Royal Deck Tea Room. Enjoy refreshments while soaking in the waterfront views, just as distinguished guests once did. Thank you for joining us on this tour of the Royal Yacht Britannia. As you disembark, carry with you the memories of this grand vessel's storied past. Oh my goodness, my friends, this video has come to an end. I hope this experience has brought much joy and laughter to your heart and soul. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update from us. And if you want to stay connected, be sure to follow us on all our social media platforms. Your support means the world to us. Hey, what do sailors use to blow their noses? Anchor cheese! Are I did good! Okay, ding ding ding! Thank you! Come again! I'm done with this ship. I mean ship, ship, ship up, ship a papa month.